Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Well, today's flavor is the same as it's been. The smooth and gentle on the stomach by Folgers. And I'm using my Bob Ross coffee mug this morning. It's a mug I got for Christmas a few years ago. And it's kind of a fun mug because the painting is supposed to show up as the coffee goes in. And there it goes. So I think that's kind of cool. I don't use this coffee mug very often because you're not supposed to put it in the microwave. But, you know, I heat up my coffee for a couple hours anyway. But uh, <laughs> I like watching the painting um, come to life. I loved Bob Ross. He just died way too young. I thought he was so relaxing and so calming to listen to. Even if you don't paint, people used to watch him just to relax. So I need to get back to my painting. I don't necessarily paint only in the Bob Ross style. I've kind of developed my own painting style over the years. But there it is. There's Bob's painting. So anyway, um, today's flavor, I bought a lot of syrups back in the day when we entertained and we have a bar or we had a bar in the basement. The bar's still there, <laughs> but my bartender is gone. So, but that's okay. Uh, now my grandson kind of lives down there. So uh, I have a lot of syrups that I want to use up. And I still have, well, I just opened this one. It's pumpkin spice today, and it's a big bottle. So in my quest to use everything up, not everything, but to use my things, uh, I figured I might as well start using my syrups. So I don't want to put too much in because then the coffee gets too sweet. But I'm just going to add some Italian sweet cream from Aldi's. So, trying to use up what I have so it doesn't get wasted. And um, I know this is more like a fall flavor, but that's all right. You can have pumpkin spice anytime if it if it's your favorite or you like it then do it. You don't have to wait till a certain time of the year to do fun things. So let's give Bob's cup here a taste. Cheers. Yep, that's pretty good, but it needs more creamer. The coffee sometimes gets really, really sweet if I add um, syrup and creamer. But it's a good thing I like sweet coffee, but sometimes it's even a little too sweet for me. So Bob's painting of the day is a mountain scene. I don't know if some of you follow Bob Ross or not, but uh, apparently he lived in um, Alaska for a long time, and he was actually I think it was a drill sergeant in the army, believe it or not. And he hated it so much that he vowed never to yell at anybody again once he got out. So there you go, a little history on Bob Ross. So he's still on some of the uh, public broadcast stations every now and then. And he has stuff on YouTube. Another artist that I like to watch and he was actually Bob's, Bob Ross's teacher, is Bill Alexander. Um, he painted in the same style, and some of his paintings are really nice, too. And he's also on YouTube. So today I'm going to, of course, guess what I'm going to do? Yep, you guessed it. I'm going to work in my garden. I want to start planting my seeds, but I have to soak those because it's things like zucchini, and uh, squash, things like that. And uh, I did not start seeds for those inside. I'm just going to plant those directly in the ground. 
but I have to get my flowers planted before they go bad. So I got the front all done. All the pots in the front are done now, which is good. But I do have to pull weeds. I noticed when I was up front there were a lot of weeds. But they're going to be mulching soon, too. Um, we pay association fees and they include mulch in that. But just in the front. They don't do anything in my backyard. That's on me. So uh, they cut the grass. They plow snow in the winter, and they mulch. They'll also trim bushes in the front, but uh, I think they're afraid of my garden. <laughs> I think they're afraid they're going to do something wrong because I have so much going on in there, which is the way I like it. I love a lot of flowers in a garden. I like a neat garden, too. I mean, that looks nice if, you know, you have a very symmetrical garden. I try to keep my garden symmetrical, but I've constantly got plants that don't come back, and then I have to put new ones in, so. But anyway, um, that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be doing a little more planting, and uh, I don't know, I have to make something for dinner tonight, too. I have a lot of salad now. I need to start harvesting that and eating it, otherwise what's the point? right? So I have a little bit of store-bought uh, lettuce left that I probably for one more salad but I can start adding some other greens to that and it's summertime and I love salads in the summer and honestly I could afford to lose a couple pounds so a salad will help with that too. So all right I'm going to Bob and I are going to enjoy our coffee this morning and then um, I will meet you back at the budget book. Okay, back at the budget book. All right, so yesterday, even though I went to Tai Chi... Okay, where was I? Oh, yesterday, when I went to Tai Chi, she didn't actually collect any money because she's just an instructor there, so I'm going to have to pay the $13 to whoever... I don't know, whoever the money collector is, but she didn't want the money. So actually yesterday I did not spend any money, so I get a nice check in the green. So I'm not planning on going anywhere today, but you never know. Um, I have enough stuff for the garden, enough plants, enough soil, I think that uh, I need to get moving on this planting. So, um, let's take a look in the garden and see if there's anything ready for harvest, see how my flowers are doing. As of yesterday, everything was doing okay, except for one pot of impatience. I think I have to replant those flowers because uh, there's too much water in that pot. So anyway, um, that's it for the budget book today and we'll see what the day brings. All right, well, this morning these are still the things I have to plant. I have to plant my apple tree and my other apple tree. So I have to plant those, but I can't do that until I drill some holes in my pot. Everything I planted seems to be doing okay, which is good. I have to water this morning, and the birds are happy. So, let's see, in here... I have some geraniums that I tried to save from last year. I don't think they did too well, but I want to look through them and if there's any that are still potentially viable, um, I'm going to uh, stick those in some dirt. I still have these three hostas I want to plant and a few little tiny broccoli starts. 
Next year when I winter sow, I won't sow them in these kinds of containers anymore. I'm just going to stick with the baggy method. I have a little tiny San Marzano cherry uh, tomato here that I want to plant. So I've got that going on. And then over here, I still have almost a full flat of begonias and impatience. And these are the only impatience that aren't doing well. I think they have too much water in here. I suppose I should take them out of this because this is a self-watering pot and I think they're just getting too much water. My fuchsia is hanging in there. I fed that. So I'm hoping it gets more blossoms. And, um, oh boy, something's going on. Here come the cable guys, or the fiber optic guys. So, and hummingbirds love fuchsia. So I'm hoping to attract more of them. Okay, sometimes these guys ruin my zen. <laughs> that was a lot of commotion going on. And I don't even know what they're barking about. They see somebody walking by or, you know, it's like, okay, whatever. Anyway, these are all doing well, but the other ones are just not. So I think I'm going to have to put them in a different pot. But anyway, that's the garden for this morning. I still have some herbs and veggies that I need to plant from over here. So, but some of them will be going into the, um, the towers. That cardinal is always so happy. It lives in my yard. There's two of them. And then, of course, here is my beautiful lettuce that I need to start harvesting. I'm going to do the, um, you know, where you take off the outer leaves so that the inside can keep growing because eventually this will bolt. So there we go. My tomatoes and peppers are still doing okay. So very good. So far, it's doing well. All right, turning into my food forest. All right, I'm trying something different this year. I have um, <clears throat> a couple hanging baskets <coughs> that I bought at Aldi's for like $7.99. And of course, they're just the one type of plant. And I have a lot of plants left over. So I want to make a bigger hanging basket. I have baskets that I've had for a few years now. And I want to transfer those smaller baskets into the bigger ones. So I've gone ahead. I got these sponges at Dollar Tree. You get two of them for $1.25. And I'm cutting those up. I'm going to put some of the sponge in with the soil. And then I have these Dollar Tree diapers. I got the biggest ones I could find. Uh, you get four diapers, and I'm going to cut those up and put them on the bottom of the baskets and see if I can't keep the moisture in there um, a little longer so that they, they grow nicely. So I also want to try and put um, some sort of bottle or something in with it to um, help with the watering. Because especially by midsummer, um, they get pretty dry pretty quickly. So anyway, um, wish me luck. It's a project I'm trying this year. Like I said, um, I'm always experimenting, <coughs> trying different things. That was Lizzie letting us know that a bird flew into the garage. But I have the front and the back door open, so it flew back out. Anyway, I'm going to get started on trying to plant up these baskets and see how they turn out. 
Okay, so I'm going to plant up these planters. And I found the best thing to sit on for me is a bucket. Okay. All right, well, I have these coleus. These are the planters I have. And I'm just going to put half of everything. This one fell on the ground, so it's a little bent up, but that's okay. I'm going to use it anyway. So I'm going to put two diapers in the bottom of each one of the planters. I'm going to divide up the sponges. So I'm going to mix that with the dirt. Oh, there's all kinds of little critters running around in here. Yuck. All right, so I'm just gonna line line this like this and like this and hope it works. And then I'm going to put sponges in here on top of that. Now this is new to me so I don't know if this will work or not. We'll find out either I'll have a lot of dead flowers or it'll be beautiful. I don't know. All right and that's about half the sponges. Ugh. Actually, sitting like this is kind of really hard on my back, but I think I'm going to, from Amazon, order a back stretcher. One of the ladies in, um, in my Tai Chi class, she said that she has one and it works great. I really can't bend this back. I'm trying, but it's really, it's really tough. See, it's kind of crooked. But, and that happened when it fell down off the porch. Let's see. Eh, that's no better. But that's okay. You don't notice it so much when it, when it hangs. All right. So I'm just going to plant one of my hanging baskets in here. Let me get it. Oh, there goes Lizzie again. Oh. I know, I'm good. I'm good. All right, so here's the hanging basket. And I'm going to put in the middle, and then I'm going to plant some other plants around the outside because it would be too hard to take this apart. My daughter tried that and she said it didn't work. So I guess taking your hanging basket apart isn't, isn't the best way to go. All right, so I'm going to plant these up. I've got the coleus with the nice dark and bright green leaves. And I've got some of the Wandering Jenny I'm going to put around the outside. And I think that'll look pretty. So not too expensive because, you know, a hanging basket is like, oh, some of them we looked at were like $45 that were this size. And it's like, oh no, I'm not paying that. So, okay get this planted up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Oh boy. <laughs> hang in there kid. Okay well they're all done. I'm gonna hang this one up and I think that turned out pretty well. The dark leaves of the begonia pick up the dark and the coleus and the wandering Jenny picks up the lime green in the coleus. So 
I think that turned out pretty well. And here's what it looks like hanging up. So, okay. One task. Okay, next project. So, I got this big pot from Ollie's. It was $14.99. And I want to repot my Meyer lemon. Did you know these little sticky things are edible? I haven't eaten them myself, but I don't think they'd be very pleasant in your mouth. Anyway, I, I had this bag of citrus and cactus potting mix for a long time, so I want to use that up, but this isn't going to do it with my tree, so I'm going to mix it with some regular um, Hypenex potting soil. And then my little Meyer lemon's going to go outside for the summer. So, let me show it to you. Here it is. And it did survive the winter, so I'm going to pot it up. Alright, good luck little Meyer lemon. Give me lots of lemons this year. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it always bothered me that this little lemon tree was kind of crooked. So I'm trying to straighten it up. It's really hard to see my camera. But anyway, I'm going to add a little bit of this plant food. Not too much. I should, uh, next time I'm at Home Depot, look to see if they have citrus fertilizer. I'm also going to add some of this worm castings. So hopefully we don't get any little worms in there. But if we do, we do. Alright, they'll go in my worm bin. And they're very busy in there making more worms and eating up my garbage. So I also have just a little bit of this homemade fertilizer here. I'm going to add some of that too. Because this is all organic and it won't hurt anything. And then I'm just going to uh, give that a little mix. And finish filling this up. Give it a good drink. And hopefully that will do it because I noticed that the leaves were getting a little bit of yellow on them which means it needs some nutrients so I'm hoping it does okay out here because uh, it did survive the winter so we'll see all right another task done I still have lots of flowers to plant Okay, well, I, while I was at it, I went on a repotting spree. This uh, bird of paradise, it had a couple of bent over leaves. I cut those off. And then I had this um, clay pot. I repotted it because it wasn't a plastic pot. And it kept falling over. It looked terrible. So now it looks much better. So I got that done. I figured while I had the soil out, I might as well repot a few of my house plants. I also repotted a couple of avocado trees that have been hanging around upstairs in my plant room. And they were kind of neglected, so, but I had these nice lime green ceramic pots, so I have to put that away yet. And I have another one outside. So here's another one, and this one needs a little help but these were from my composter so I didn't have the heart to throw them away and that's why they're so long and leggy I was gonna put them all in the same pot and then I thought that's not smart they're trees so um, those will go in the house and then 
course, my pretty hanging baskets. I'm pretty happy with the way those turned out. So this is at the end of the day what I still have left. And I still have some pots that need some flowers. So I have that. I never got around to the geraniums. My Meyer lemon. I straightened that up and it's looking better. So that'll live out here. And a few more flowers. So that's what I got done today. Okay, so I want to wrap up the video for today. I got a lot done. I've been wanting to transplant those house plants and get my little lemon tree out here. So now all I have to do is finish planting my flowers and my herbs. The front is totally done now except for the flower bed that needs to be weeded. But that can wait. So anyway, um, I'm tired. I need to get in the shower and go rest a little bit. Tomorrow's supposed to be cooler. Today was 73, which was a really pleasant day for working in the yard. So, so anyway, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.